Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Rock City for Life coming at you guys with a quick video. Now, people have been hitting me up asking me, like, where do I get my materials and just some of the stuff I use in Cinema 4D. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I use and I'm gonna actually give it to you as well. Now, as you can see, the stuff that most stuff that I use are right here. And then, of course, things like overhead soft boxes and seamless floors. This is pretty much what I use for almost anything that I do. Just overhead soft boxes and of course I'll, if I want to be fancy I'll add the uh, ring light. Now in order to get these um, into Cinema 4 this is a little different than just some material packs that people use where you just have to load it every single time. Um, what you're going to do is I'm going to have this file in the description so you can, well a link to the file so you can download it and then you're just gonna unzip it and while that's doing that if you go to whatever Cinema 4D well, has to be at least R12 or R13 and you're gonna right click go to where it says open file location go to library go to browser and all you're gonna do is what's here all you gonna do is copy all of them, and then you're just gonna paste them in here. I already have mine pasted, so I need to paste them again. And once you do that, just if you had this, if you had your Cinema 4D open, just close it and open it again. Then you're gonna go to Windows, go to Content Browser, and then if you go to the Presets, you'll find everything that you just installed and everything. Now, you can either, you know, continue going to Windows to get to them, or what I decided to do was just, if you click right here where all the little dots and whatnot is, if you just long press, you can, if you notice, it brings like a little bar right here, you can put it anywhere you want, well, or else then you put it. Since I already have mine out there, there's no need to put it there. And that's pretty much how I have my stuff set up. Let's see. Drop some text in here real quick so you guys can see what it looks like. Put this back over here. Mm, what do I want to use? Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. There we go. Let's drop this bad boy on real quick. I don't really like the whole navigation for the new R13. It's kind of diff difficult to get used to, but I guess I got to put up with it because I like it a lot better than R12. And then just drop some caps on this bad boy real quick. Belay. Belay. 3 2. And of course, you know how I like my setup to be. So, like I showed you guys in the last video, how to save your presets, the ledges, and then just render that bad boy out. And boom! I know, I know, thing is sexy. Now, if I take off the softbox and render it again. You see the difference, or better yet, let me turn off global illumination, and you see what it looks like. So yeah, adding a softbox adds not only great reflections and whatnot, but it also adds that little um, reflection on the floor. So <laughs> I know it's kind of sexy, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm out.